everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. This is part 12 where last time uh, we actually did almost a bit of a, like a boss gauntlet. We took on three bosses, uh, the the Executioner's Chariot, um, Myra the Baneful Queen, and the last one, um, the Smelter Smelting Butthole Face. Um, and they all were great. Smelting Smelter Demon, not so great. And I did just actually realize that we didn't read the Baneful Queen's soul last time, so I'll just quickly give it a read. Uh, soul of Mytha, the Baneful Queen, who lives in the Earthen Peak. The Queen sought the King's affection, even poisoning herself to attain beauty despite the monstrous consequences, all for the compelling madness known as love. Uh, which is similar to what essentially the Ladder Smith already told us when we spoke to him, but there you go, it's in lore form. And uh, so yeah, we've uh, mainly been having a having a great time uh, doing that. Iron Keep sucks. We're still we're still in the Iron Keep. We made it to this area, uh, so we're just going to see what's on the other side here, and then uh, we're going to cash in on these souls that I have. Oh, that's oh we're here. That's the door that was locked on the other side. Oh, that's cool. I see. Wonderful. So you can do like a little thing in there. Take on this boss, get this chest that's right here that I didn't get last time because I didn't even see it because I was too busy getting murdered by an enemy. We got a por porcine shield. Oh, I love, love it. The pig head looks eerily authentic but is an imitation. Though the shield's defensive cap capacity is ordinary, it may spook an unsuspecting foe. It may spook an unsuspecting foe? So if we equip it and use it, it might scare someone? Or is that just a description? Here's the thing, when you look at items like this, you always wonder, is like, are they giving me a hint? Or are they just giving me a description? Which is very interesting. Um, we will level up. I'm trying to focus on getting my um, equip load up at this current point in time. It's been like a primary focus, to be honest. Um, we'll hold on to these rest of these souls. Um, last episode, we also found that treasure merchant, and we ha now have two branches of Yor. Um, however, um, with the current state of the shaded ruins, there's multiple um, there's multiple statues, and I'm thinking that I should probably wait till I have like a collection. And then we can do them all together. But then at the same time, I'm like, what if we what if we melt one and it actually gives us um, another branch? <laughs> the ultimate troll. Use a branch to get a branch back. Because there's there's two that are blocking a pathway, I think, and then others that are just kind of standing around, but I'm I'm not sure yet. Regardless, I still have more of the iron keep to explore. Um Bright Stone Cove and the gutter still have yet to be properly explored. We'll see how long it takes us to actually get to those areas. Uh, because it's like what I'm looking at at the moment kind of is just going through it in the order, I guess, in which they pop up on the fast travel list and being like, ah, I don't want to leave them and ignore them. So we will uh, we'll head back to the Belfry Soul Approach um, and catch up to where I was last time because we're in a hall very thin hallway with that that guillotine in the middle and the hammer turtles so we'll head back there now all right we've made it we've made it back down this goddamn hallway you know, I just have to time the fire I guess oh no I can't you can't stand in the middle I thought we could stand in the middle also spikes on the wall, so that's going to be fun. Do you know how long it takes to get to this fucking room? <laughs> it takes so long to get to this room. Just for me to then die by fire. I don't know if those items are worth it. Hopefully that room actually takes me somewhere else. If it's just a dead room with items, I'll be very sad. 
it really take did take me quite a while to realize how effective uh, dark damage is against these guys here. Like dark mace, dark orb. They do not even stand a chance, honestly. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, I just don't know how worth getting this item is, to be honest. Oh my god. Okay. We got a lightning short bow. Lightning arrows, baby! Small type of bow used by hunters in training. Equip arrows to use. Equip up to two types of arrows to give yourself immediate options in battle. Cool. There might be an item on the other side as well. What do, you, what do we think? There is not. Okay, so we're just running down here. Oh shit. No, and I don't. My dark weapon ran out. Oh, I'm gonna get trapped with this dude, aren't I? Oh shit. Okay. Yep. Uh, there we go. That was lucky. Whew. That was lucky. Thank you. Far out. Nope. Just wasted a flask. Because I'm an idiot. Ooh. Oh shit. It's that Minotaur statue that we saw before. <laughs> we just walked out of his chest. He's so big, I can't even go and see it. Wow. Okay. I'm glad that wasn't just a room for items, but there is a... Oh. Oh. Um, but there is... a problem. That it's now a fog wall. Look at that, dude. Um... I got two flasks. Fuck, it is a boss too! Holy shit. It's doing this effect thing again. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, the literal hell spawn. Great. Hi! Just me and my two flasks say hello. Oh, it's such a pain to get to this boss fight then. I have to go through so much. Old Iron King. Holy shit. Oh, hello, Old Iron King. This is a... We've got a very limited amount of movement. We've got a very limited amount of movement here, Old Iron King. Through the wall! Through the wall! Ah, oh, my favorite thing about Dark Souls. My favorite fucking thing about Dark Souls. Is attacks through the fucking wall. What's the point of even having the wall there? May as well just be a flat surface. That's dumb. Why have walls if they can't stop enemies' attacks? And I have to painfully make my way back over there again. Old Iron King, let's get it. Alright, I'm back here again. It takes it takes an immense amount of time to even to even get here. Um, an immense amount of time to even get here. And I just wish that there was like I know that they wouldn't put it so close to a boss fight, but I just wish that there was a bonfire. Just put one right here, you know. Just absolutely crazy to me <laughs> that you get, you ha it takes so long to get to that area, and all I have to do is take on the stupid old Iron King. Okay, Let's see how we do, shall we? I don't know if it does fire attacks, but we'll flash sweat just in case. We've got 
got flame quartz ring on because we never put the silver ring back on because I'm a dummy. Dark weapon. Dark orb. Let's go. Okay. Oh, it comes up straight away. Oh. Straight away. We get some good hits in there. That's good. It's good to know. Oh, it's got different types of fire attacks that I need to watch out for. Oh, hang on. Oh god, that's gonna get me. Oh, that's the okay. That's the move that. Unbelievable. That's the move move that got me last time. And he attacks with it twice. Mood so moves so nice. He uses it twice. Oh man! Come on, can I block it? Ooh, I just missed it. Oh shit! Come on, buddy. What are you doing? You're spamming. Oh god! This sucks. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's underwater. Okay. Underwater, he says. Chris, understand, this is not water, come on. It's my chance to throw some dark orbs. This is a long range fight if I ever seen one, because this is fucked, otherwise. Oh my god, no, I'm such a fucking tool, honestly. I didn't think he would get me from that far away. Why did I even run back there? I was looking to see if there was a corner. I fucking hate this. The Iron Keep, the Iron Keep is like, has been the most frustrating part of the game for me. Like every enemy I go up against is like, wow, you're just really fucking frustrating. Every location, I'm like, wow, this is really fucking frustrating. This location of the game just fucking sucks. And if there wasn't a boss there, if there wasn't a boss there, I would give up on this place. I didn't care if there was un... I wouldn't even care if there was, like, rooms left undiscovered. Like, the only reason I'm here is to kill this stupid boss and then I'm out. Because this is just ridiculous. Back here again at Fireland. And what do I see in the fucking corner? I see a ladder. So, we actually have another thing. I ran right past this ladder. <laughs> so, here you go. Placing bets on it being a fucking bonfire right before the boss. And it saves me all of the time. The amount of time... Oh no, it's more fire. The amount of time I've had to run from the goddamn Belfry soul fucking bonfire and kill those enemies over and over until like most of them don't even spawn anymore is insane. Yep. Yep. Bonfire. Bonfire before the boss. Well done. Eagle's Idol. Uh, we're in the head of the Minotaur. That's fantastic. And this is going to be something... This is going to be something that helps with the boss, isn't it? Can it nuke the whole Iron Keep, please? Can it just destroy the whole area? Because I'm done. It turns off the fire. So it doesn't even help the boss necessarily, but it helps my sanity. Okay. The bonfire is lit. Lovely, useful bonfire that I missed has been lit. And it's a nice little point where I only have to face off against this guy. I only have to face off against this guy. That's great. I've lost tens of thousands of souls on this journey to this stupid guy, and now I'll probably beat him, because he's actually not that hard of a boss, he just has weird attacks. So lovely, let's let's get stuck into it. You're gonna swipe me right away, are you? Let me smack your hand away, sir. And 
attack, yeah. If only, he, if only he did this hand attack way more often, I'd be fine with that. Oh, we might have him in like a nice little rinse repeat situation here. Oh, don't! Ooh, that's new. That's a new one. Looks good, buddy. Oh no, wrong way. Man, I really need to watch that kickback. Fire move again. Oh, that that covers a lot of ground. That does cover a lot of ground. God, this dude is such a threat with his attacks. <laughs> Sweet slam! I oh, didn't slam the other fist down. That's annoying. Oh no, wrong way. Oh, we can dodge through it. Nice. Oh no! Everything that I'm trying to do is hit, like hitting him long range, is not working. Oh no, it's the hand. It's the fucking laser. Oh, you- I- I dodged. I was furiously spamming B. You can dodge when you're, uh, just about to get up. That's incredible. That's a good- that's a good thing that I was not aware of. I'm trying to hit this guy with physical attacks. I'm just trying to land a couple of physical attacks. Alright, at this point, I'm done. At this point, I'm done, dude. I'm just... You're out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not playing around. I wanted to hit him. Oh, it's a great soul, too. I wanted to just hit him on the face. And get some physical attacks in. I didn't want to make that purely me just dancing around. There you go. Dickhead. So I'm assuming we'll be going down to a primal bonfire. Petrified something. Okay, first boss of the episode in the first 20 minutes, and it's a big boy. And that's why it was so frustrating. Soul of the old Iron King who succumbed to the flames that swallowed his castle. There we go. The Iron King's flesh was charred and his soul possessed by the things that lurk below. Done. God damn it, man. There's a room on the other side. Primal bonfire. Cause this is uh, just one that allows us to warp back. Yeah, you return to the far fire. Let's have a look in here. The the lost sinner didn't have a room after it, did it? Trespassers will face adversity befitting a monarch. Forbidden is the path to the ancient king's domain. With water dry and path amiss, woeful temptation is dismissed. In the tower of the old Iron King resides a child of dark. What have I done? What have I done? Should I have just returned to the far fire? What have I fucking done? Okay, we can go back. Okay, we can go back. Um... Closed. The sign written here is being channeled from somewhere far away. Interesting. Okay, we have to do something. 
in order to get this door open. That's vague. Cryptic. Maybe another time? I don't know what this is. Uh, at least we can return. God, imagine if you just travel there and then you're just stuck. Strange. Oh, that's, uh, okay. I'm sure we'll figure that out at some point. Let's return to the far fire. After doing that, goddamn. <laughs> goddamn Iron King. I'm done. Iron Keep. I never want to go back there again. Except there's items on the ground, on the fire thing, so maybe I'll have to one day. But for now, I'm going to consider that. I'm going to consider that one done. Is there anything that I should buy from other people at this point? Maybe. Have a look around. We will level up for now, at least. Um, Weapons are still scaling with faith, but intelligence, not at the moment. A couple more points into faith. Okay, we have two great souls. Oh, actually, which means I should talk to her. Hold on. Bearer of the curtain, seek, seek. She didn't. Yes. For when the un, not okay. all. Of Maybe I accidentally skipped over if she had anything to say. It sounded like she was still going to do her bearer I think speech. That's all right. You need armor. Oh, he's got the stupid butthole clothes. Smelter Demon Helm. A great mass of iron that was given life. High fire defense. Oh, do we need to dress up as the Smelter Demon to get onto that fire? The old Iron King was possessed by a great bounty of ore. Incinerated. Yeah. High fire defense on everything. Alright, could wear the butthole clothing. Are you sure? Interesting. Well, I may sell out while you're away. I'm glad that the Iron Keep is mostly over, as far as I'm concerned, so that move, we can move on to bigger and better things. Um, for example, bigger and better things, Brightstone Cove and the Gutter. Ooh, the best of the best. Um, I think we're going to check out Brightstone Cove, so we'll go to the Royal Army campsite check this place out. I've still got to use like a Ferris uh, lockstone or two um, in the Grave of Saints as well. See if I actually remember to, to make that trip or not. For now, let's map out where we are. Oh wow, those are some bright stones. So apparently, this is where Pate is. Oh. You crushed your miner friend. As soon as I heard that noise, I was like, that's the boulder that I just saw. Are you guys hostile? They got like dark weapons. Nice. Don't know who that was for, but certainly not me. Oh god. Oh they got- yep, because the dark weapons are gonna curse me. Jesus. You're right.
Chill out, everybody. Okay, not what I expected when I came here. I expected more of those, like, soldiers, but not... Love that it starts with pick up item and then toggles immediately to the ladder automatically. And I'm like, you trick me. A lot of villagers, miners. I was expecting, um, yeah, I was expecting more soldiers. This is interesting. Fucking tough sons of bitches, too. Spider door. Great. Spider boss? We Do we have to look forward to a spider boss? Fucking skull spiders, dude. No! You friendly? I doubt it. out of here. I'm gonna trust you for any amount of time. You got fucking skulls on you. Get out of here. Skeleton. Hi, skeleton. Touch the pool of blood. Nope, that's the pool of blood. That's a torch. Okay, that's for... God damn it, dude. This is not... God. Oh, if you... Oh, if you attack them and they survive! Okay. If you attack them and one survives, then they'll all attack. Holy shit. It was good when I was taking one of them out at a time in one hit with the Great Soul Arrow then, because my fucking god. Are you... Are you good? Chill. They're strong too! What the hell? I'm dead. Great. I go from the Iron Keep to fucking spider caves. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I hate this place. Dark Souls 2 is the point where you go, this is the point in Dark Souls where you're like, man, do I hate this? <laughs> because this is pain. Oh, buddy, drop the thing. He kills himself with the boulder as well. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, they all just missed getting... That's another thing that I really hate. That's another attack where they go to attack you and they go to do the move, but then they instead they just run at you and then do the move. Like, you're breaking all of the rules. Stop it. Come on, everybody. Oh my god. Stop that! This, that fucking move! I'm sick of it. Okay. What if we avoid the spiders? Are they going to trap us? My first thought is that they're still going to attack us. Maybe they're scared of fire. You reckon they're scared of the dark? Only hope. I got enough of these to use. Are you scared of the dark, foul beasts? Oh my god. They're just waiting. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh my god. What? What was that? 
it just activated them. They're not hostile. Oh, is it the fire? Please tell me it's the fire. Funny heavy bolts. Dude, please tell me that it's the fire that's making the match like this. Oh no, I wanna open dude, no. Light the fucking thing. Huh. And a fog wall. God damn it. I can never win, can I? See how that looks like a fake wall because it's got like a texture difference? Oh! <laughs> the one right next to it is. Oh my god. Who's crashing pots in here? Priestess outfit. Hearing a lot of chanting. <gasps> Am I being attacked? Where the fuck did that spider? Okay. I'm not sure if I'm being attacked. That spider just ran for me and didn't attack me and I'm... That was scary. Oh! God! Fucking spiders. Oh my god. I hate spiders. Did you guys did you guys know that information? I hate spiders. Those spiders fucking suck. Prowling mate. Oh shit. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I just walked in here. I'm dead. Hello. Okay. Holy shit. Sorry, did I interrupt Sunday service? my god. Okay, congregation. I see. Oh, darkness, ball of darkness. Alright, there's one. Whoa! Okay. Come on, think on your feet. Think on your feet. Drink the juice. Take out the hollows. Because they're bitches. Oh my god. Come on. Get out of here, congregation. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh! Rowling Magus. You look like the, uh, looks like the person from... Nice. Whew! Looks like the, uh, from the, um, DLC. Um, in Ulaseal, like there's uh, ones casting the dark magic at us. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, dude! <clears throat> this is because I no longer have the torch, isn't it? Stop. 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 Get the fuck out of here! No, dude! I'm gonna get killed by fucking spiders after a stressful encounter. Okay, whew! This is weird, they were just having church in the spider cave. This is not what I- whoa. Okay, this is not what I expected from Bright Cove. I was like... When we first got here and I saw... Like... The soldiers. I was like, oh yeah, this will be like a soldier camp. No. Spider hell. Weird mining people. Boulders crushing me. Weird cult meeting. Chapel threshold. Like, what the what the hell is going on? Some of the boss fights are super peculiar. How dare you! <laughs> it still got killed! Alright, now I need to get my items. 
Should I jump down and go that way or go the long way? Try and go the long way. Let's figure out where we are first. Oh, more spiders. You know what that means? I'm gonna do this. You leave me alone. You leave me the fuck alone. They look so terrifying. Oh, they won't attack me because of the torch. Yay. Okay, I'm putting a lot, put a lot of faith in not attacking them, I swear to God, because I really want to when they all drop down. Attack him. Attack this dude. Okay, there's spiders everywhere. I'm gonna need to... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's a cool traversal thing. Oh, what's going on in here? Oh, it's Creighton! Oh, it's Creighton and Pate! Oh, no! Do we have to... I guess we have to choose now, right? I'm going to commit with Creighton, I think. Holy shit, they're just having a fucking fight in here. Yeah! Two NPCs actually having a fucking fight. That is so cool. Did we kill the right one? Did we kill the right one? <laughs> I did it. Thanks for your help. He was no pushover. Here, take this and go to my boat hold down the way. Sora to, to sell Dora Den Key. It's yours. Just a small token of appreciation. Yeah, these are for you. Ah, oh, nice. Creighton's clothes. Did me well. Just take them. Creighton, Creighton just undresses in front of us and goes, "Here, have my clothes." Did me well. Wow. Can you move? You've. Ah, oh, cool. I can still get it. Eight spear and the ring of thorns. So that was his ring. I guess what would happen then is if we killed Creighton instead of Pate, we would get Pate would maybe give us those items, and then we'd get this key off of Creighton's body. Maybe that was that was intense. A long spear wielded by Pate. This appears to be a very ordinary spear, but has accumulated power over the course of countless battles. Wild. Should probably, while I'm here, because I keep forgetting, is I should really put my silver ring back on. Silly me. Opens the den in Brightstone Cove. The fools that venture into Sildora, unaware of the ancient deeds that still haunt the cove, are transfigured into unspeakable malformations. Well then. That was certainly a surprise. I was like, oh, there's people actually fighting, and then I'm like, oh, it's these people specifically! Now I I can't wait to eventually oh, shit I can't wait to eventually look up who actually like what happens um, can't wait to eventually look up what happens the other way around what the fuck I 
Um, is that a spider uh, and a hollow together, or is that what the fuck is that? I guess we just pick a direction and run with it. I didn't even know if this was the way that I wanted to go. Hold on a sec. At least Creighton didn't try and kill us after that. He's like, and now I'll kill you too. You, you really gave yourself a dwarf required. You really gave yourself away there. Uh, the point of this room was... what? Pointless ahead. Okay, so we either drop down here, or we drop down over there. I think, potentially, they can lead to the same place. God, this is very catacombs-like to me. Oh, there's fucking quicksand! Are you joking? You reckon I can make this jump? I don't think so. I think I'll die. Nice, we made it. Is that entirely worth it? I don't know. Oh, shit. Funny. I got magic too. Okay. Oh god, there's another one. Where are you? There you are. Fuck. God damn. Can I just get down from here without getting hit? That was... <laughs> just running blind. Oh no, a fucking pursuer! You joking me? What the fuck is going on? No! And a Bowman Gun 3. Oh my fucking god, why is this game like this? Oh, it's not a pursuer, it's a fucking curse bitch. And a spider hollow. Fuck. 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 Welcome to Dark Souls 2. Welcome to Dark Souls 2, I guess. Oh, what is this game? Dude, the fucking homing spell! Oh my lord! Chill out! It's such a relentless spell!
What was... What just blew up? Right as I was about to touch my bloodstain, too. Did the developers at this point of the game just go, fuck it, like, we don't care anymore? Just chuck every enemy here? It's like they really just went, just fuck it, just chuck every enemy that we have. It doesn't matter anymore. We get, we give up. This is it. Done, dude. Esther's flash shard can't even make me happier right now as much as I wanted to. you mine have the same limit? Yeah, I can't shoot him that far away either. What the fuck blew up at me before? This is not enjoyable. This is not enjoyable. What is this? Like, I get that it's the B team, but it's like... I'd like to ask the level designers, like, what the fuck were you thinking? It just feels like... it doesn't feel fun. It just feels so poorly designed. I'm like, what the fuck is this? That's all I can think while going through here. Like, what the fuck? The fucking spells that just don't quit. Leave me alone. Bowman Gun 3 just spawns in at the worst possible time. Let me take a drink! Oh my dear lord. Wish that he could get hit by those stupid spells, my god. Come on, come face me, coward. Otherwise, I'm just going to do this at you, because you're weak against magic. Look at you take that magic damage. I don't like that the game... Like, it does a thing where it, it, like, it makes me want to not... It makes me want to just cheese everything and be like, Oh, cool, I'll just hit you from a distance, and, that, and, we'll, and we'll call it a day. It doesn't make me want to make it a fair fight. <laughs> it just is like, ugh. I just can't wait for this area to be done. And that's not how I that's not how I want to feel when I'm playing this game. I want to feel good when playing this game. 
Oh my god, the spider hollow, man. Stuff of nightmares. Seldora cap. Why can't you let me target the spiders when they don't want to attack me? This is going to be another one of those areas where it's like, dude, I don't even know if I want to fully explore this area. I would just happily kill the boss and run. <laughs> Ugh. But I, I like to explore Present Axe, Soul Vortex, so I will keep exploring. One of the lost sorcery is preserved only in the undept via successive homing souls. Extremely difficult sorcery to evade. 37 intelligence required though. Well, I had a, I, I gotta say, I had a pretty, like, long streak of enjoying the game. Like, a pretty successful long streak of, of being like, man, I'm actually enjoying the game. <laughs> Only for this to happen. Be like, wow. This is when complaining Chris comes out. And I don't like it. Poison! Great. They were also like, hey, can we interest you in poison spiders as well? Fucking green tips on their things. These are the real basilisks, dude. They don't have they don't have their eyes here. The big big ones. They're like, we don't need to hide out here. This is who we really are. Too heavy to open. What? Ooh. Jesus. Oh. Ha. <laughs> Great. That's funny. Oh, this is Dora Den. Nice. And it's a trap, because Creighton's going to kill us, right? <laughs> I just true to his word, engraved gauntlets. And then it's a mimic. Oh my god, it is. Oh, wow. Creighton, you tried to blow us up. I believe in nasty scar. And rusted coins. Where is he? He just tried to kill us. Yes, no, maybe? He tried to kill us. Maybe Pate was the good one after all. I mean, Crate is quite sinister, but then they're both, like, not trustworthy in their own ways. Well, he didn't... He didn't successfully kill us, so... I guess we can be grateful for that. He tried. And failed. Engraved gauntlets. Stone gauntlets engraved with odd writing said to bring good fortune to the wearer. Rare chance normal attacks become critical hits. That's not bad. Um, not bad at all. Bit heavy, but not bad. Creighton's stuff. Long to Creighton the Wanderer. Their design resembles that of the Night Order of the Eastern Land of Mira, but with some odd differences that catch the eye. Finely crafted imitations, potentially. We've got so much stuff that I haven't even really looked into yet. Same with the priestess stuff. 
Clerics of Dranglek have retained their nominal status throughout the ages, but were always at arm's length from the royal family as if their existence was little more than a formality. It is customary for clerics to wear different garb depending on their sex. This is a woman's robe. Okay. We found his den and almost got killed for it. It's spiky. No! It's doing so... What the fuck? I, I was like, spiky grass, what the fuck? It hurts every... <laughs> you were all just on it before, just fine. Apparently it's like, it's fine until you want to move, I guess. Yeah, you have to stay still. That's funny. What the fuck? At least it's not like ridiculously painful. So weird. I I, I feel like I would have enjoyed the gutter more at this rate. Honestly. Oh my god. Bitches, leave me the fuck alone. I don't have time for this one today. It's locked. Poison arrows. I'm out of flasks too. I need a bonfire, honestly. Anyone got a bonfire, anybody? We got two doors, one on each side. What could it mean, though? Pull a door. Any door. Oh my god. And it reveals. Pickaxe murderer. Jesus. Come on, pickaxe murderer. You're better than this. Go home. Good night. Thanks, I hate it. So now I have to fight with a torch. Otherwise I'm screwed. Ooh. Manhunter O'Hara. Love how we've just successfully uh, only summoned um, Creighton as the only NPC. And haven't found anybody else. Which is a shame. Oh my god. That is also due to me not being human all the time, and also for people getting angry when I summon, so I mean, I cannot win. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. Anyone got a bonfire? Oh my god. Anyone got a... Is there a bonfire anywhere? Oh my... Dear lord. I don't have any flasks left, so this is just dangerous at this point. Loving the amount of cob- oh my god. Loving the amount of cobwebs here. Really fun. As long as I keep my torch out, I'll be fine! Alright, goodbye. I'm keeping- I'm keeping this torch. This torch is not coming off. I got two hours and 46 minutes worth of torch, and I'm gonna spend every last minute of it in this place. If I have to. People down there with torches. I am aching for a bonfire at this point. Desperado. Alright, we're dropping down, are we? Ah, 
I am I need to use the repair powder because this sword is about to die. This is my worst nightmare in a room. Not a fan of spiders. And they really just went this and did this to me. And a fog wall as well. You gotta be kidding me. have any positive feelings towards that fog wall because it's gonna be a giant spider like unless they throw me for a complete loop and they're like haha it's not even a spider bitchy thought I don't know if I want to go through that room without any flasks Got life gems at least, but I'm gonna put a homeward bone on hand and I'm gonna see what I'm dealing with. What if we could just fluke this whole boss fight because we have a torch <laughs> and it doesn't like torches? I'm gonna do another repair powder though, just to make sure my thing actually lasts the fight. Yay, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what's what's here. Ooh. They're really testing me. You're really testing me, guys. Shalob type shit. Please don't tell me I have to fight the smaller ones too. Yeah, we gotta fight the smaller ones too. What if the torch though? The torch? Yes? Torch? Okay, big one is still going to attack me. The Duke's dear Freya. Okay. If I fight with the torch, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no! Yeah, fucking... Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. The Duke's dear Freya. Giant spider! You could fight with a torch and the small ones don't attack you, but fuck. Dude, I have no understanding of where I am. I legitimately have just run through this area picking a direction and hating every everything about this place we didn't even check out the like the camp at the at the first bonfire like in this place like the royal army campsite and this area is just a mess dude it's just like a long series of just everything's just fucking happening and there's so much shit and it's just like I'm so confused and overwhelmed in this area and feel like I'm making myself look like a fool because I'm just like god this is just really frustrating like genuinely a frustrating area and it's really hard to stay calm all of the time because I feel like I do a pretty good job at keeping my cool 
most of the time. Until it just gets to a point where I'm just like, holy fuck, this is shit. I'm surprised they're not even paying attention enough to get into to fight me. Oh, never mind. Fucking spoke too soon. Oh my god. And here's the big version of the pigs from Majula. Leave me alone. Dude, he's in the middle of attacking me. He shouldn't be taking block damage. How does this game work? Who makes the decisions here? If, a, if an enemy is in the middle of attacking me, they shouldn't be taking block damage. You. Archer. Archer man. Get down from there. I'd like to have a word with you. Man, he switched to his sword and shield real quick, didn't he? You too, buddy. You're coming down as well. How did he shoot me from there? Get in. Let me in, please. Oh, there's a ladder. I have to get there from, like, underground. Quick, jump in the well. can jump in the well, actually. Oh, <gasps> there's an item down there. You joking? You actually can jump in the well. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. What's that noise? I believe you. Just rolled around the outside. If I was trying to avoid it, I'd fall in there immediately. That one. Fair enough. Yeah, but I swear to god, if it was like if it was my mission to need to avoid the hole, I fucking fall right in. Um third time's the charm does not apply here apparently. You can see that I'm in one of those predicaments in this game where it's just everything, when something goes wrong and then it just compounds and it's like a domino effect of holy fuck this is a disaster. I think that could sums up Dark Souls 2 pretty, pretty nicely. This is like where me being cautious pays off more than it ever has and I'm just not being cautious. Holy water urn. <gasps> I'm gonna go- I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. I can't win a fist fight with this stupid piece of shit. Get- get me the fuck out of here. Come on, let me go past him! Equip the fucking thing- no! Holy shit, man. Do not! Get the fuck away from me! Get the fuck away from me! Landing down there and seeing an enemy was is fucking terrifying. You put everything back on. Give me my stuff back, please. All 
All right. This will this take me into the? It does. Wonderful. <gasps> Are you fucking kidding me? Not only is it like a thing where the game does not reward you for being like, wow, look at you go for getting down the well and now we'll reward you with a chest. The game says, fuck you for trying to do that. The game says, fuck you. Have a mimic, you piece of shit. Oh my god. Ugh. How do those- I'm sick of these stupid characters and how they run? Everything just goes wrong. A series of unfortunate events. say these are some fucking good soldiers the fact that they're able to do what they can do at such short notice they're like oh yeah I'll just drop down here and instantly adapt to the situation this is not my finest hour of that I am aware you reckon we could survive this drop in our armor I reckon we could and at least that way I'll have a chance of being able to just take out the pig. Really? Can I just jump through it then? I guess you just have to land right on the top of it. Come on, we did it first try last time. We landed on top of it and broke it. Now we're going to just be missing that all the time too. Here we go. Oh, it just takes us straight down. Alright. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Alright, cool. Now we fight in an enclosed space. The fucking mimic. These aren't explosive, are they? Oh, got any more. How can you tell that a metal chest is a mimic, dude? It's got no teeth. Is it cuz? What's the giveaway on a metal chest? I don't know what the giveaway is. The giveaway is... It still fucking does that move, even though you hit it. Still fucking does that move. Dude. Dark Souls 2, more like Dark Souls take a fucking shit on my face because I enjoy it. Come on! This game makes me look like a fool. Stupid. Come on. It's almost as if that's what's supposed to happen, is as soon as you crush it, you go down with it. The 
context of that joke is that this game is a big shit, and me playing it makes me seem like I enjoy it. I don't fucking enjoy it. <laughs> the fact that this game is a piece of shit. What the fuck is that? I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It, it just ate me from behind. It just ate me from behind. I don't need this shit. I don't need this shit. I don't know if this is what you guys have been waiting for in my Dark Souls 2 playthrough, or in just Dark Souls in general, because there's so many of you that love to see me suffer. So, here you go, guys. You get what you fucking wanted. Is me desperately trying to just fucking slay a mimic. And the fact that it just ate me from behind. I accepted, you know, the first two deaths, because I'm like, that makes sense, you know? That makes sense. But after that, what the fuck? It ate me from behind. It's actually insane. I love that you don't even take fall damage from there. I just fucking got naked for nothing. The fact that I didn't just turn my console off and rage quit there just says volumes about my character development because I would have totally just fucking ended this fucking game. <laughs> I was in the middle of dodging. And I was still behind it. And it still placed... It didn't even fucking put me in the right spot. Bell only staff. Ooh, is this is the dark stuff the dark wraith clothes? I think it is. I think that's the Dark Wraith stuff. Can't wait to get the helmet. I don't have anything else to say about it. Like, the only thing that stopped me from rage quitting is the fact that this is a Let's Play. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my god. I'm I'm literally forced to just go through this garbage. For you, for for your enjoyment because I'm sure every time I get eaten by a mimic hundreds of you smile. I'm sick of you taking block damage when you are in the middle of an attack. Okay, so me going, haha, let's travel back to this area because I haven't even checked it out yet, only for it to be rage inducing is really fun. So that's cool. And now I have to go back to the rest of the area, which makes no sense to me and that I hate. So that's also fun. 
probably killed the wrong person out of Pate and Creighton, so that's fun. Because I believed Creighton. Because Creighton was the one who made the first move on accusing, on accusing him. So I was like, well, fuck it. Better believe him then. Bright Cove was a mistake. Bright Cove was a fucking mistake. Yay, ten flasks. Ooh. Level me up, baby. Um... Put a point into strength at this point. All right, guys, Bright Cove, Bright Cove, hey, Bright Cove, Bright Cove, Bright Cove. Call it Bright Cove because it's easier than calling it the full thing. I'm not going to say Bright Stone Cove every time. Is he still here? No. He moved on. Probably that, it's probably done I assume his story now, you won't see him again. We cleared out that area, so if we actually go around here, I should be able to like skip that whole thing now, right? And go back to where this hollow spider was standing. Down you go. Alright, we'll go down here. Alright, he's already out of here. Never mind. Dude, spider hollows. Incredible design. Like, let's I'll take a moment to focus on something positive here. Is in terms of a design, spider hollows are fucking awesome. And I love it. And now I'm and now I'll go back to hating it, okay? <laughs> now I'll go back to my negativity, please. God. Um what was the point of that? Oh, we're really just going to go and take out this spider boss, aren't we? Jesus. Yep, there's the poison spider. Now, let me try and comb this area because there might be, and hopefully, there would be a bonfire somewhere. Imagine if, like, the den in the key, like with the, we use the key, we go into the Seldora den and there's a bonfire and it's cozy and nothing bad ever happens. How do we get how do we get to that door with that item? Try up here. Yes. Yeah. We're not going to do, we won't do the fight. Uh, we won't do the fight with the torch because I need, I need spells. The fire longsword is going to work with the best. I don't know why I still have flash wet on. Forgot to take that off. But we've actually got flasks this time, which is good. I will do actually is we'll take the torch. I'll take the torch all the way to the boss room. That'd be a good good thing. 
Good idea, at least. There a faster way to get down. <laughs> yeah, can I speed run this, please? Kill some spiders down here, otherwise they're all gonna start fucking me up. Um, Alright, let's think. What do I need to do? I need to do magic weapon, because I assume that it's better than nothing. Kill these dudes. They're ruining my life. Because they're all gonna attack me as soon as I turn this torch off. Stop running away from me! take care of most of them. Um, use repair powder just in case. Again, I haven't had to even had to use repair powders until this point. <laughs> like, we used it in the Ruined Sentinels fight and that's it. Alright. Let's go. Oh, that was meant to be the shield. I've got a stupid pyromancy hand on. Oh, she's ready to go! She's ready to go! She can damage her own spider friends. Wait. Wait a minute. <gasps> is it? Is she double-ended? She is! She's got a fucking... Oh my god, she's double-ended. That's incredible. Oh my lord. I gotta hit her right in the face in order to make this work. And then she does that. Can I use spells, please? How good is this going to work? Okay. <gasps> what the fuck? Beam? Okay, let me take these spiders out. They need to be done. They need to be done away with... I'm dead. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this double-ended spider bitch. I fucking hate it. Whoever's idea was to think of doing a spider level and then making the boss a double-headed spider bitch, I fucking hate you. Let me get rid of this stupid flash sweat pyromancy. So it can actually be something useful. Fuck you. Now my OCD is going to kill me again if I don't do it in order. Um... The homing soul mass would actually be useful on the spiders, so I'm going to do that. Magic weapon. Dark weapon. Dark orb. I love this game. I am a beaming light of positivity, and I can't believe that they would just do the absolute best work of all time in this game. It's This is just an absolutely fantastic experience. 10 out of 10. This game truly makes you feel like a Dark Soul. So it has really, it has really achieved what it set out to do. Why are you stupid? You stupid thing! I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. Good night, everybody. I'm ignoring all of you. Give me this torch. 
Um, I'm fine to just probably just keep the fire sword as it is. Okay, I, I really thought... Fuck this. I really thought that it would get on the ladder. And if you get on a ladder near an enemy, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Current plan. Current plan. Use the torch to stop the spiders from attacking me so I can kill the spiders. And then... And then... Attack main spider, bitch. That's the, that's the current plan. That's the current plan. I hate it when you can't kill them in one hit. How long does that attack go for? Okay, that goes for a long time. Yep. Oh yeah, I'm dead. I lived, bitch. Try better. Duke's dear Freya. The Duke can get fucked. The Duke has some crazy ideas for pets. Okay. No. Alright, we're good. We're done. We're out of here. I'm good. We're good to go. It's magic time. It's fucking magic time. Oh my fucking god, never mind. I take it back. I don't even know how to deal with these attacks. Oh, yep. Oh, you could dodge through it. Bitch. Dark ball, ball of darkness. Fucking ball of darkness attack. Fuck my god. I'm even mixing words together at this point. I'm done. Alright, I figured it out. No, I haven't. I haven't figured it out. But at least she always does that. I'm assuming Freya is a female, so I'm saying she. And it's a spider. And Shalob. Because I'm assuming that. Oh god. Um, because she always does that attack from left to right. That if when she goes to do the attack, I just have to make sure I run all the way over here. And then I'm fine. Like right now, she's going to do that move. Yep, yeah, there you go. And then I just make sure that I'm over here. More spiders are spawning in. That's insane. Can you believe it? I can believe it. Shit, man. Get me the fuck out of here. These dark orbs are meant for her. Oh, shit. No! You were supposed to not continue with it, that attack. I'm just going to reiterate. <gasps> There's a drop? There's a drop in this fucking shit? Oh my god. I hate this. I, I am filled with hatred. A I'm absolutely filled. Brimming. Coming close to the boil. That spider, right, doesn't have two mouths. It's got two fucking assholes and it's shitting out of both of its mouths simultaneously and I'm over it. You're gonna give me a spider that's joined like fucking cat dog and then tell me and then tell me that I have to fight it and that it's fair as it shoots its fucking Kamehameha at me every time I try and distance myself from it and I'm done. I am. And what do I have to look forward to after this area? The gutter. The gutter. I'm like, cool. Can't, can't fucking, can't wait. I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to the gutter, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna make so many friends, and it's just gonna be literally in the dark, and I'm gonna get killed by a stupid spider hollow. Get out of here. 
I have to take my torch into the dark. They were, they were literally just like, oh man, this guy's having too much fun uh, for Dark Souls 2. We need to change that immediately. There was supposed to be a jump there, and then there just wasn't a jump there. Because, for some reason, I held down the B button, and my guy said, I don't want to jump today, I want to fall to my death. Um, and when people tell me that they quit Dark Souls 2, when people tell me that they couldn't continue, they found a point where they were just like, nah, it's too much. Like, even if they are big fans of Dark Souls, and they tell me that they quit, I'm like, bro, I feel you, I understand. If you get to a point like this, and I feel like there's even more bullshit coming, I get it. And then people go and play Dark Souls 3, and then, and then they feel like they have a better time, apparently. That's just going by comment consensus. In terms of my own opinion, I'm sure I will formulate my own. But for now, it's... I don't give a fuck about anything except running to this boss room and murdering this stupid spider. And not falling to my death. That's that's pretty important one, I feel. It's just like a depressing walk backwards, like, my god. So, another thing is there's a cliff. There's actually a point where you can drop off and die. Uh, so that's fun. Oh my god, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm at that point, and I feel like this probably happens to a lot of people, is you get very pent up and frustrated, and then what that leads to is just more mistakes. It doesn't lead to positive... It doesn't lead to any positive change. This is why when people get frustrated and they go, fuck man, I can't continue anymore, they put a game down and they come back to it, like, days, months later. Um, they're just like, oh, I actually completed it, first try. Because you're going at it with, like, a fucking clear state of mind. I will try and kill this spider until it dies or I die. Or until my food arrives, so I can cure my hangriness and um, and move on with my life. And then go to the gutter where I belong and enjoy whatever the hell's down there. My only experience to the gutter so far has been statues that shoot poison at me whenever they fucking feel like it. It's not triggered by me walking past it, it's just motion sensor, high tech. We're just going to shoot poison at you. Come on. Let me get these spiders out of the way, please. Let me get these spiders out of the way, please. Alright, so that's where the drop-off is, so just don't hang out over there. Oh my god. Don't hang out over there, he says, as he then goes to the edge trying to kill a spider. Just drop off the edge, will you? Leave me alone. Dude, the fact that they... Come on, let me get you. The fact that I was only able to ever dodge that beam once, apparently, and now he's just going to keep doing the attack. Spider, get your ass over here. What? I'm underneath. I'm underneath. That shouldn't get me. going to circle around you and do this. This is my this is my new plan is to just circle around you and to do this. You stupid snake bitch. Oh, 
Oh, the other spider got in my way and ruined everything. I had a perfect, I had a perfect synergy there. Ruined it, spider. And ruined again. And I got smacked. God damn it. It's going so well. Oh, those fucking the armored legs. Shit, what the hell? What the hell? Not right when I have victory in my grasp. What are you doing? Get back here. What? Oh, what is- what are the heads doing? I can't attack them. Please, guys. Let me attack your head. What are you doing? What the fuck is going- what are they doing? Oh, I'm- I'm trapped in web. I'm trapped in web. Oh, you've lost a head. Fuck, fuck's sake. You're out of here. Oh my god. I hate this. <laughs> stupid. Stupid spider. Soul of Duke's dear Freya. My god. I hate this. Oh my god, I've had my fall damage ring on the whole time. I'm such a dummy. What the hell is this? Great soul embraced. Great soul embraced. What? Oh, what? What just happened? Secret ahead, therefore try item. I didn't even get to read it. Oh, why would it, why would it do that? I embraced a great song. Now it's gone. Why is the game like this? Because now I don't know what... I don't know what I've just done. I don't know the consequences of my actions. Like, I just have like this weird, like, we, we were victorious. I should have read the soul, but then there was like, oh, examine this thing. Like, no warning being like, oh, this will consume, like, use great soul or something like that. What have I done? Oh well, I guess? Like, oh well? <laughs> Is there a bonfire here to light? No. What? Lord's private chamber. Oh. Bright stone key, a fragrant branch, and a dark quartz ring. Nice. Opens the door to Brightstone Cove. The eccentric Lord Seldora, known for his fascination with spiders, built a town and a personal fortune by mining Brightstone. One day, the town was overrun by spiders, but Lord Seldora only stood by and watched, eerily contented. What the fuck? Increases dark defense, right? What the hell? And this was just chilling by giant spider cave, okay? And then we've got the room. Primal bonfire lit. That's the third one. I should go back to the dude in the in the manor now and check that map with the primal bonfires.
Proceed, bearer of the curse. It is the only choice left to you. Sure. Um, wonderful. Um, not sure what I've just done with the soul, and now it's just, it's just kind of silly when something happens so quickly, and you're like, use this item, and. I didn't expect it to be the Great Soul, obviously, because that hasn't popped up in any of the other areas, as far as I'm aware. Does that mean I should go go back and check now? I don't know. I'll take a quick break after that absolute torture, and then I will decide where to go from here. Okay, I've eaten, and I can feel my hangriness disappearing. Um, Sitting here at the bonfire, I can see we have Soul of the Duke's Dear Freya here, but it's not a, um, it's not a great soul, and this is what dropped from, this is what dropped from, um, Freya herself, and then we had to go to a red orb, and then it said Great Soul Embraced. But there's nothing in our inventory that's a great soul. We only have these two. So I am confused. It, I almost feel like I've done something wrong. And I really hope I haven't. Um, but again, I'm sure that, you know, that's part of the game to interact with that thing and do the great soul embrace. So I'm sure it has a purpose, but I was just, I'm just very, I was just very confused. Uh, but as far as I can tell, that dude that was in the room that was like a hollow was the Duke, who we then killed. <clears throat> um, but we've got Soul of Duke's Dear Freya, so we'll have a read. Uh, which is, uh, Soul of Duke's Dear Freya, the Writhing Ruins Keeper. The Writhing Ruin is an ancient thing whose shadow remains cast over the land. It first took possession of a solitary insect but grew its power, feasting on the wealth of twisted souls found in the land. <clears throat> so the soul is the writhing ruin's keeper. The writhing ruin. Was that like that thing that all the spiders were like? crawling under before the boss got summoned? Maybe maybe that has something to do with the um, with the great soul embraced thing. Regardless, um, through much struggle um, through much struggle Bright Cove Brightstone Cove and Iron Keep oh, have been just to the most extent conquered and I never want to do it again. I'm getting a lot of Dark Souls 1 DS1 references in Brightstone in that you got like when I first read like the Duke I was like oh Duke's archives it's like see the scale is Duke um, and then Brightstone uh, similar to like the Crystal Cave from DS1 as well so it's like so is that a Dark Souls 1 reference? Maybe. Oh man. Um, let's do something to avoid going to the gutter right away. Let's go put some smooth and silky things in the nest. <clears throat> and then I've got three branches of yore. Um, so I could probably afford to use them um, in the shaded ruins at this point. I find it interesting that I haven't found anything else to use them on <coughs> uh, in other areas yet. Makes me feel that um, you're meant to get a few at this point and use them um, in that spot specifically. <sighs> okay, let's drop some items in. Now apparently what I can do to save time is you can actually leave you can do them all together like this. Someone did put in a comment when I was tr assuming uh, or experimenting that I could drop multiple in one go. But if I do it one by one, apparently... It, it will uh, give me uh, multiple items. So let's test that theory. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, nice. Small blue purr, so it's like similar to the orange one. Yellow burr. Life gem. Fading soul. Life gem. Fading soul. I would burn. Small blue burr. Nice. Okay. So the blue one is for magic defense, naturally. Cleanse undead with a holy essence. Um, drop these in. Nope, just one. Just one at a time, please. The reason why I discarded that petrified something all those all those episodes ago was because you can't use it. So the first option is um, on leave, so then instead of me going down to leave, it goes down to discard, and that's why I threw it away. <laughs> Divine Blessing. Bleed Stone. Raw Stone. Bleed Stone. Old Whip. Just an old whip. Okay. Sitting on so many souls, I need to uh, maybe go ch see Strayed again because he's got all. because uh, he's the boss soul man. Pay him a visit. Right, let's let's also go to the Shaded Ruins and start opening up those statues. So we can do three out of four of them, I believe. There's four. Um, so let's have a look. Shaded Ruins, it is time. Oh. Oh. I feel like we've we've pushed through a nice little barrier mentally in this game. I've em embarrassed myself extremely with anger. And you just have to see if the gutter uh, makes me feel any better. I mean, which it won't. Uh, you know, we can only hope. Now, let's use it on this guy. Fragrant Branch. Is he gonna attack me? He's gonna attack me. Yeah, he's fucking roaring up for battle. Whoa, that's strong. Buddy, I freed you. At least you could do is say thank you. Jesus Christ, these lion dudes are not to be messed with. Lion men, lion men. I fucking hate the lion men. Oh shit. <gasps> oh fuck. I'm wearing your head. This is the body. Oh shit. This is the body of Vengal. Get backstabbed, bitch. Nice. Oh my fucking god. He's bigger than I thought. He can't see me. Wow. Oh, we got his full armor set. Holy shit. Now that fragrant branch was uh, hiding something special, wasn't it? Jesus. Okay. Full outfit for Vengal. We should go have a chat to him and be like, Hey, I fucking fucked you up. My dude. Let me wear this full outfit. It puts me at 72.6. Looks cool though. That's amazing. 226, god damn. That might be... That's pretty much the strongest thing that we have. That weighs, like, an acceptable amount. I can just put myself under 70% here. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh. Nice. So there was multiple ways. I'm hearing something sparkly. Oh, you know what that means? You know what that means? Is we don't have to use a fragrant branch um, on that statue, so we can actually use it on the other ones. My only th remaining thought there is I'm wondering if we free it and it will uh, give us an item or something. Potentially. <sighs> Honestly, man. It's been nothing, nothing but a headache. But that was satisfying. Um, and now we'll go chat to Vengal and go, Hey man, <laughs> I found your body and now I'm wearing your clothes. Hope that's chill. Let's do it on this guy. How did you even get frozen here? That's embarrassing. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I was wondering if it would trigger. It did. That's embarrassing, sir. Ooh, we got a key. Yeah, see, killing them could give you an item, so we do need to keep that other dude in mind. Uh, fang key. A strange key shaped like a wild beast's fang. What manner of uh, dilettante would create such a key, and what might it unlock? A wild beast's fang. Well, that's cryptic. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know, man? There's, I've, I come. That's the. That's an unfortunate problem. Is you come across so many locked doors, and then you'll get a key, and you'll go, "Am I supposed to know? Am I supposed to know what that's for?" Without really checking. Like, have we, have we already encountered that door before? Will it be a new door for later? Who knows? Who knows? But now I'll free you, sir. And of course. Why can't there be like a nice one that's like, you freed me. I am eternally grateful Otherwise, I would still be a stone statue. Like, okay. Warlock mask. Yeah, okay. Cool, I guess. Ooh, it's one of those. Strange mask worn by Aldia Warlocks. Grants dark defense and increased soul acquisition. Warlocks in Aldia gave rise to wicked things and even cast forbidden rituals upon themselves. No one knows if they were born mad or if their own misdeeds drove them over the edge. Increased number of souls acquired. Not bad. Pretty poor stats and everything, but it's fine. So there's just the... there's just the one other... There's, I'm pretty sure there's just the one other one now. Which, when we get another branch, I'm sure we can come here and, and check it out. Oh no, there's one there too. Oh, in front of the... Yeah, there's one in front of the chest. Okay. There's still another one. So there's two. Two more branches that I need to get for this area. I mean, there might even be more than that, but going off my memory, I think. I think I've remembered it right. <gasps> oh god, I didn't realize that was a drop. Alright, let's go speak to Vengal's head and go, what's up, dude? We have destroyed your body. How do you feel? I wonder how he feels about it. And then what should I do after this? Maybe the gutter? 
Maybe. If I feel like it. Which I don't. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Back again? Well, this <clears throat> is a pleasant surprise. Ah, it was you who vanquished my body. It is my body, you see, and I can sense what happens to it. I do not mourn for it. Good riddance. We embarrassed it. If you wish for help, summon me. Ooh. Rusty in battle. But we'll fight by your side. Is he just going to be a floating head? <laughs> I was born in Feroza. When I was born, eventually, I've been a cell all over you. What a f Yeah, I remember that. That's fine. Dude, I wish I had enough things to wield these. Straight Sword of Warrior Vengala Ferosa. <clears throat> Legend has it that it was built to test the limits of the strength of Ferosa Knights till Vengal swung it around like wooden plaything, claiming ownership by demonstration. Amazing. I mean, I've got souls, but I've got to level up instead of buying items that I can't even wield. Farewell. I will retire to my silence. Good night, sweet prince. Um, that's cool. Yeah, we embarrassed your body, sir, because we backstabbed it quite a few times, and it led us to... But I will run, run on back through the bonfire. I'm still wondering where we have to go from here. Like, and then when I think about this stuff, I need to keep in mind the places that I've been previously um, that were like, oh, you need symbol of the king or the other one that was here what was it shrine of shrine of something that said not enough souls and i'm wondering if that means you have to kill um a certain amount uh, if you have to kill a certain amount of bosses if you have to defeat a certain amount of enemies like not sure exactly what the criteria is, you know what I mean? Like, let's go have let's go have a look. Cause I'm pretty sure this was the way for that. Oh my god, I've made a huge mistake. Or have I? I almost made it. Um, how the fuck did I get backstabbed? What is happening? I was facing him. How did I get backstabbed? This is the same thing about getting eaten by a mimic when I was behind the chest. Um, so strange. Anyway, yeah, wondering what the criteria is. Whether I have to defeat a certain amount of bosses or something, and then it'll say, oh, cool, you can come in now. Symbol of the King. Oh! Do you think Symbol of the King is the old Iron King soul? Oh, fuck, man. No, because the ring, the door said I needed a ring. Shrine of Winter. Oh, it op- what? Now it opens. Oh, it's another one of these. With water dry and path of mist, woeful temptation is dismissed. Forbidden is the path to the ancient king's domain. Elium Lois, land of the Ivory King, lies cold as death, nary a hint of warmth remaining. Trespassers will face adversity befitting a monarch. So 
So we can travel somewhere the same way that we did last time when we found this after defeating um, one of the bosses. So this will take us somewhere. Will it take us to a new place or the same place? Okay, a different place. And there's these things again. The sign written here is being channeled from somewhere far away. Oh, that's bright. Oh god. <laughs> that is a fall to my death. What the hell? Closed. Another, so again, we get teleported to a place and then there's another door and it says closed. I'm not sure what any of this means yet. I don't think I am, well, I'm clearly not ready for it or aware of what is required. Is it deal, is that DLC stuff? I don't know. Is it DLC? And I need to do something else to actually make it happen. Okay, so I guess I've defeated either enough enemies or defeated enough bosses for that door to open now. Is that correct? And where am I now? Okay, I'm on the other side of this. Where does this go? This opens me up a new pathway. As well as there being an option to teleport somewhere. Oh, we got more of these. Always oh, fun. Oh my god, come on. Such a weird enemy type. Where does this go, though? Okay. So much of this game is me running around absolutely clueless. Clueless, or overwhelmed, or confused, and now it's raining? What the fuck? Talk about a change in atmosphere. God, not more of these guys. My lightning, boys. We will stun them instead. It doesn't even pop. Whoa. 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 Um. Um. Dringlet Castle. Am I supp I don't think I'm supposed to be here. It doesn't feel like I'm supposed to be here, man. I'm sick of these guys. I Um Oh, the Emerald Herald is here. What the fuck? Ah, uh, hey. How did you get here? Am I supposed to be here, dude? Your soul is still frail and pallid. If you proceed regardless, 
Your fate will be more terrible than mere life or death. But I will not stop you. If that is your heart's desire. She's literally telling me that I'm not supposed to be here. Your soul is still free. If you proceed, regard. But I will not stop. Holy shit. Uh, this is probably the last thing that I would ever expect of going through that shrine is... Oh yeah, here's fucking Dranglet Castle. Oh, okay. Hi. I was just hoping if there would be a bonfire here so I could like save my progress and then come back another time. Oh my god. Is, th is that possible? Can I come back another time? Mr. Elephant Knight, sir? Ooh. Emerald Herald, help me. Work your magic. They're literally like the Anor Londo Sentinels, but elephants. going to do a bit of this because I'm not supposed to be here yet so I'm just going to work some long range magic. Holy crap. Yeah, is there a bonfire here? Can I just chill out at a bonfire and then I'll travel, I'll leave? really thought it would be at the beginning. Look at what it looks like. It looks like... It's so weird. It's like literally black. Okay, there's not a bonfire there. Um, this feels... this feels strange. Why am I allowed to come here? I love that it's like, if you come here at this point, Emerald Herald is like, you you don't... You, you don't want to be here. You are still weak as shit, son. Go home. Wow. Um, that is gorgeous. That place. But not for me. Another time, maybe. Um, again, just going to reiterate that this game just leaves me so confused and lost. I'm like, where am I all the time? It's so strange. And now I'm just like, yeah, I don't feel like I'm supposed to be here, so I'm going to leave now. Uh, good luck with everything. See you later. Um... Now I just, I'm just trying to take this time to think about where I should go, where I should be. Because I really have no clue. Um, we could go to the Grave of Saints and use a lockstone to like lower one of those bridges to go across the other side. Um, we can just decide to say fuck that and go to the gutter okay this area gets reset when you teleport I guess at that line So many locations in this game that's kind of like mind blowing sometimes. Goodbye, everybody. I'm out of here. I'm gonna take my souls back to the far fire and level up and leave. I'll never come back here until I feel that I am 100% ready. And I don't know when that will be. And this is where we find out that the Emerald Herald <laughs> disappeared. Thank God. Bearer of the Let me level up, please. Um, give me more for the equip load. another strength and give me another one for dexterity as well
Now, in terms of where I can go, the gutter is going to be... The gutter is going to be a big place. The gutter will be a big ask, and I think I will do that next time. Because we will be in there for a very long time, I feel. And this has been a very big episode, a very big uh, two episodes. Uh, this one and last one were very, very taxing, very frustrating. Uh, like hitting my head up against a wall. I hope that was at least entertaining for you guys. Um, again, if I'm not having a good time, I, I'm going to try and put on as much of a brave face as possible, but I can only uh, do so much before I'm really just like, man, I am just not enjoying myself at this point. <laughs> Um, but I'm struggling through it uh, for you guys and for the sake of this playthrough because there are positives I can see from this game and I do enjoy this game, you know? I really do uh, enjoy this game. Um, I believe that must be Dranglet Castle then. Right there, in the middle. That's Dranglet Castle. Poking itself up there. You can just see it from here. Wild. Um, I will quickly actually pay a visit to this guy because I mentioned that we would while we wrap it up. But yeah, next time we'll go to the gutter and we'll, we'll see what that's all about. So there you go, we've got three, three additional fires lit. We need to do one more, right? Because we need four? I'm assuming this one doesn't count. Even more flames have appeared. I don't know what causes it. I do. Did you see the flame on the map? It wasn't there when I came. I don't... Interesting, okay. It doesn't have anything else to say, but there are more there. So guys, next episode we will check out the gutter among a variety of other places that probably open up to us and we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, maybe we'll be finding our fourth uh, boss, Soul. And then maybe once we have four, then we can go to Dranglet Castle. Um, if I am approaching anything that is DLC related uh, or something that I need to do, I am I am happy and welcoming of that advice to push me in the right direction to do those things because I would like to do the Dark Souls 2 DLC. Uh, I'm not sure if it's missable like it was with Dark Souls 1 and you need to do some sp uh, specific steps, but... Don't spoil it for me, but at least give me some sort of um, uh, advice that's spoiler friendly um, that can help me experience it uh, type deal. Because yeah, I wanna I wanna make sure that I can I can do that uh, with you guys. So if I'm getting close to anything that's DLC related, or if I am a ways away, I don't know how far I am into the game. So there's only one way to find out, and that is to keep on struggling. <laughs> and then we can, we, and then we can answer that question. But guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Dark Souls 2, and I'll see you next time.